Enter the Spotlight, a series of intimate conversations about life with lymphedema with host Quabila Jones. Join me as I take you on a journey of the highs and lows and the joys and pains of life with lymphedema. For every setback, there were just as many comebacks. I hope you enjoy this journey and learn something along the way. Please subscribe, follow, like, and share the Q Spot podcast on all of the major podcasts and social media platforms. And don't forget to be intentional. Hey, y'all, QB here, host of the Q Spot podcast. And I'm here with you with a different type of segment um, something very new, very real, um, very raw. And the title of this segment or the series is going to be called Into the Spotlight. This was going to be a book some years ago, um, but I don't know, something happened along the way and it never came to fruition. So here we are doing a video series on it. And this series will highlight and chronicle my life with lymphedema. Many of you may be asking, what is lymphedema? I talk about it often on my radio show, just in my personal life, on my Facebook page and Instagram. But I don't think, even with all the talk, not many people know what lymphedema is. So before I get into my life and what it's been like living with lymphedema and why I'm stepping into the spotlight at this point in my life, let's take a little... Uh, step back and look at what lymphedema really is. So here is some information from the Mayo Clinic's website. You know, what better way (laughs) to get the information than to go straight to the source? Lymphedema refers to swelling that generally occurs in one of your arms or legs, sometimes both. Um, And then, of course, there's more information on the website and you can scroll down and there are many many websites um where you can find this information please take time to do your research and learn what lymphedema is as we scroll down there are some pictures it talks about the symptoms of lymphedema and what parts of your body it affects Lymphedema shows up in every person that has it in a totally different way. Some of the signs and symptoms are similar. Each person will tell you something different as to how their life is affected. As with the case with me, my life has been affected differently than many other people who also have it in their legs. Um, As you go on down the website, um, you can see this one picture. This is I want to say typical of what a lymphedema leg looks like. For some people, depending on the stage they're in, it can be enormous um, to the point where they are immobile and they have to use um, other devices or even a wheelchair to get around, or they may be bedridden. Um, So lymphedema can affect people in different ways. There's primary, there's secondary, and again, there's a lot of information here to go through. Depending on what stage someone is in, it can be reversed. However, once you reach a certain stage uh, with lymphedema, there is no going back. There's only treatments. Now, those who have had breast cancer, they are a very high risk of getting lymphedema because they may have had surgery to have lymph nodes removed or lymph nodes were removed when they had surgery on their breast tissue. Take some time to educate yourself so that you can advocate for someone else. And I want to say that often. I think that's one of my taglines. Educate and advocate. Um, How can you do something about something you know nothing about? Now, before I get too deep into my story again, me talking about my life with lymphedema is not about a pity party. It's not about trying to get sympathy. This is strictly to raise awareness. This is to let people know who Kubila is, what I've been through, what I've endured, but how I'm living. You know, I am a cheerleader for everybody, except myself at times. And I've been told, Kubila, you need to celebrate yourself. And you know what? They're right. I need to celebrate myself. One of my sisters reminded me of some of the things that I've accomplished so far. 
So her to list off the things that I've accomplished that I will talk about in other videos is just amazing to me. Like, wow, that's my resume. Okay, <laughs> I'm doing some things. I've done some things. Um, so I'm here to celebrate myself. And it's okay. It's not about boasting. It's not about bragging. It's not about putting yourself up on a pedestal. Sometimes it's just a gentle reminder for yourself. When you get in that low spot, you get in that dark spot, and the shadows try to creep in and take over your mood, you have to remind yourself who you are. I was going to say something else. I've got to remind, remember where I am. Okay. You have to celebrate yourself all the time and remind yourself who you are. Okay. Anywho, so each video will be probably five to 10 minutes long, you know, give or take. But I just want to give you little snippets, some insight into who Quabila Siwatu Jones Harden is. Um, and how I got here, <laughs> you know. Now, don't worry. I won't be showing you a lot of gross pictures and all that. Um, there will be some pictures shown in the intro. And that'll be all you'll see, <laughs> you know, unless you know me personally. Unless you are a medical professional. So, don't worry. I won't bombard you with all the pictures. But I will show some pictures to show where I showed up, how I showed up. Um, this video series is also about yeah how I showed up and what it took for me to show up I want to give you some insight into what lymphedema is and how it affects people differently for me um it affects both of my legs and I do have some mobility issues um I know people see me sometimes when I do get out and they think okay you know I have it together, but I don't. Um, some people may just see me as this really overweight woman. There's more to the story. I try to wear clothes to conceal the majority of how I look and what I'm dealing with. But unfortunately, due to the progression of it, uh, the lymphedema in my legs, I can't conceal everything. So I do go through life with some anxieties. And let me tell you, <laughs> when I when I show up, I have pushed through a mound of anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> there are parts of me that just want to tuck tail and run. I want to go home and hide. But I can't always do that. I have to show up. Um, just like I did for Juneteenth uh, 2021. I'll talk about that later. <laughs> just like I showed up for graduation December 2018 in an ice storm, mind you. I showed up, you know, and I talk, I will talk about that. I promise. I'll talk about those moments when I showed up. Um, there were times when I went to open mic nights. Um, I love poetry. I love writing. And yeah, I had to get out there. I had to put myself out there. And you know what? I find more and more when I put myself out there, people receive me well. People that love me and know me. They don't look at me in the way that I think they're looking at me. And I think when I get in the mindset that people are looking at me, I trip my own self up, you know. Ooh, yeah. I am my own worst enemy. <laughs> yeah. We are our own worst enemy at times. So, anywho. All right. So, that's going to do it for video one. So, stay tuned for more of Into the Spotlight with Quabila Jones. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching the QSpot podcast video series. Don't forget to join the Q crew so you don't miss a beat. Follow, like, and share on all of my social media platforms as well as the major podcast platforms. Lastly, be intentional with your words, your thoughts, and your actions.